silver person. Good evening, my name is Silver Person here. Hear ye, hear ye, citizens of Richmond, Virginia. Our city will be holding elections for city council and mayor this November. And I'm asking, nay, begging, interested individuals to run for office. No special skills are needed. All that is required is that you are 18 years old or over. You must be a non-felon and you must be registered in the district in which you are seeking office. The deadline for our Here's signatures. Up. Okay, that's going to be Thank you. The deadline for signatures is June 12th, less than one month away. To qualify for city council, you must collect 125 signatures of registered voters. The individuals must be registered in the district in which you are running. To run for mayor, you must collect a total of 500 signatures, 50 registered voters from each council district, and 50 at large from any council districts. For more information about running for office or to pick up official forms, please contact the city registrar, registrar's office in room 105 at City Hall, or you can call them at 646-5950. The Office of City Council uh, pays members $25,000 a year. For mayor, the salary is $125,000 per year. As a member of the council, you are also allowed to hire at public expense a liaison to help you manage the day-to-day -day operations and call and answer calls for constituents. There is also a chief council chief of staff and legislative policy and fiscal analysts who help assist council members. I have a number of complaints which I hope a new council will address. My first complaint is the time in which meetings are held. Council currently holds the majority of its committee meetings before 5 p.m. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 85% of Americans work from 9 to 5. Your practice clearly prohibits individuals with jobs from meaningful participation in our government. I'd also like to take this opportunity to invite retired individuals, the unemployed and underemployed, to attend council's meetings since they are held when many cannot attend. Council's meetings are Meeting times are, are arbitrary and can be changed at the will of the council. At the end of the current term, four current members of council will have served eight years or more, which I think is enough. I have been disheartened when I've heard current members discuss with little regard the subject of term limits. I, I heard a council member say dismissively, we have term limits. They're called elections. Unfortunately, incumbents win 80 to 90 percent of the time they seek re-election. I think incumbents have a way of overestimating their ability and, the value and their value to their constituents. The four-year council term is a mistake and should be reversed. The two-year council term is more democratic and allows greater accountability to voters. I hope all of you agree with me that corporations aren't people and money is not speech. Along those lines, I would like to suggest that no candidate accept donations over $100, particularly from groups like the Virginia Association of Realtors, Williams Mullen, James E. Ucrop, Ed Egg, developers, and other individuals who donate thousands of dollars to influence our elections. Though such large contributions are not illegal, they are not desirable in a representative democracy, and large contributions do open up candidates to the perception of possible conflicts of interest. A final piece of advice for candidates seeking office is to attend meetings. There is no better preparation for holding office than to attend the committee meetings and regular meetings, familiarize yourself with council's rules and procedures, and become knowledgeable about the topics council is discussing. Again, the deadline is June 12th for, to collect uh, 125 signatures. They must be registered in the district in which you're running. Thank you for the opportunity to comment. Thank you. Thank you, sir. As nice as you have. Glad you're here. Okay, the next speaker.